New research is raising concern about the toxic chemicals inside your car, specifically coming from the seats. Yeah, this is um, eye-opening information. CBS News correspondent Anna Warner takes a look at the findings and explains what you can do to protect yourself. San Francisco's Venus Singla drives an electric car to help the environment, but hadn't thought much about the air inside her car. I never realized there could be toxic chemicals. About two years ago, she volunteered to participate in a study looking at driver's exposure to flame retardants used on automobile seats to meet federal fire safety standards. She and 100 other car owners placed these silicone bands in their cars for a week to measure the levels of those chemicals in the air inside their vehicles. I want to know what chemicals are in my car and if there's anything I can do to reduce my own exposures. Now the results are in. The study finds vehicles are likely important sources of human exposure to potentially harmful flame retardants. Those most likely to be exposed, commuters, full-time vehicle drivers, and children. Levels of some of those chemicals were two to five times higher in summer as compared to winter. In hotter temperatures, chemicals are able to be released from the car materials more easily. So the hotter it gets, the more chemical you're likely to have. Yes. Researchers can't say precisely what the health effects might be from breathing in those flame retardants, but they note that a 2023 U.S. National Toxicology Report found evidence of carcinogenic activity in rats and mice for the most frequently found chemical. They and others are calling for the federal flammability standard to be reevaluated. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, which sets those standards, told CBS News it's aware of the report and is reviewing it. Researchers detected flame retardants inside all of the cars tested, but the study didn't look at specific makes or models. A group representing automakers said approved flame retardants are included in vehicles to meet the government's required flammability standards. Back in San Francisco, Vina Singla's test showed flame retardants too, which she says is frustrating. We can do better and have healthier, safer cars. In the meantime, the researchers recommend when you first get in your car, roll down the windows and let the air out. Anna Werner, CBS News, San Francisco.